For this fun project, we're going to need two pieces of fabric, a lining 5 by 12 inches, and the outer fabric for the bag, 5 by 12 inches. Put them right sides together and stitch both short edges. Once you have the edges stitched, you can open it up into an O and match the seam. Put a pin in to hold it in place. And then carefully you're going to sew along the lining and the bag and the second side the lining and the bag but you'll leave a little hole for turning it right side out and there were a couple of other little holes along the seam line for the casing. To close up your turning hole you're going to turn under a quarter of an inch and then top stitch it shut. After it's top stitched, you're going to turn the bag so the lining side is on the outside. This way we can work on our casing. The casing will be about an inch down from the edge, top edge of the bag. Stitch it all the way around and then move out to the edge of the bag about an eighth of an inch from the edge and stitch again. Then you can turn the bag right side out so we can put the ribbon in for closing the bag. You need two pieces of 18 inch long ribbon. You can use shoestring, cording, rawhide, anything you want, yarn. You can also use a safety pin to attach the ribbon to it and get it in through the casing. I have this little tool that I like to use. You go in one hole and come out the very same hole with the first piece of ribbon tie it securely in an overhand knot. Then you're ready to insert the second piece of ribbon. It goes in through the opposite hole. Once again, all the way around past the first ribbon and back out through the same hole. Tie that one securely in a knot and your bag is finished. Put anything you want in it. Chocolates, Money, gift cards, jewelry, pictures, lingerie, dice, little toys, travel games. It's great for everything. Happy sewing!